Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TTB speaking, and welcome back to another episode of German Mac Engineering, the daily show where we build cold hearted, humorless, stumpy robots for maximum effectiveness and efficiency on the battlefields of Mac Warrior Online. And today, guys, we're playing the Rifleman 3C in a Dakar and laser configuration. Look at that picking profile, guys. You only have to expose about, I would say, 30% of your mech to be able to shoot at enemies. Really, really nice profile altogether. Just be very wary of one thing, guys. When you're trying to shield with this mech, you're shielding mostly with your arm. So um, if the arm is very damaged and the side torso is not, I would actually recommend you keep facing your target. Um, but that is something that you will have to decide at a moment's notice. Alright, let's look into the build. It is very, very straightforward. XL Engine 260 as the base is 70.2 kph speed. Firepower of 21, but that of course is a little bit deceiving because these AC2s fire very, very quickly. Uh, to be exact, they fire almost every 0.5 seconds. 1.35 heat management, also a little bit deceiving. You can keep firing these AC2s basically forever. And... Um, what we do here with the ER small lasers is we have them for point defense. So if something gets a little bit too close to us, we use the ER smalls to amplify the damage. Uh, we've got four in total, 3.25 damage each. So that's an additional 13 damage that you can unleash if you wanted to bring somebody down or destroy a component if somebody is in range between uh, yeah, at about 200 to 400 meters. So keep that in mind. That is just a point defense damage weapon. It is not our main weapon. Our main weapons and the ones we want to keep safe are the AC2s. We've got six tons of ammo in the CT and the legs, and then one ton of ammo in the right arm. Um, the CT ammo is going to drain first, and then it would go into the right torso, left torso, but since I don't want to have the ammo be in the torso where an explosion can instantly kill my mech, uh, we'll just have it in the arm here. It should be quite safe because the arm is a smaller target, but uh, you could also potentially um, just, just park it here in the head um, it will drain last but um, yeah headshot is is not that likely so we can just keep it in the head all right moving into the skills let's have a look what we built here well full firepower tree we took everything including magazine capacity one and two i didn't take laser duration guys because um, our small lasers are just a emergency backup weapon it's it's not needed to take laser duration for that. Let's put these points rather into survival. So we have the full survival tree, which means that we will be very, very hard to kill for a mech our size because we've got full armor and full structure. And then we go into the auxiliary tree and we take a double artillery strike with enhanced spotting this time because I had one point over. I didn't know where to put it. So let's put it into a more accurate artillery strike. And that is basically the build for today, guys. It is just heavily invested into the firepower tree. You move to second line and you just shoot targets from range and amplify damage onto them. Let's go ahead, take this thing to the dropship and see how it performs. I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we are on the Frozen Colony Classic and... Uh, no, Frozen Don't Forest the Colony the Classic. Spotted. Ah, that's a mouthful, isn't it? And uh, we're pushing towards the riverside. If I have long-range weapons, oh, I actually like to push towards uh, the riverside here because it just allows you to have free reign on the Charlie 3, Charlie 4 area, uh, also Delta 4 and Delta 5. And you can just do a lot of damage from that position, but you are very, very much exposed and uh, you are, of course, in danger of being rushed down by enemy lights. So keep that in mind, guys don't go there alone because you will die there alone for sure so i have three teammates on the side so that is okay for now let's go around the corner here into the back side of delta 3 that gives us some cover and now we will start duckying away at any targets that we can find for example an enemy warhammer down there and uh, maybe some targets in between the ships or some people just walking towards the uh, bravo 3 side and drop the audio on him and then we just keep duckying away at that mad cat um, at this range, we're quite safe against his Ultra AC-10s, so uh, we'll just keep firing on him and keep annoying him. There, we took away a little bit of his mech, and now we switch on to his next buddy and do the same thing. Guys, if you want to, you can, of course, drop a few points from the firepower tree and just go into sensors to get advanced zoom if you feel you need it. I feel most of the time I don't need it, so I don't bother specking it because it's just for other uh, points that I have to waste to get that. But... Um, it might be advisable for a map like this because it's notoriously hard to see on, on this map in particular. Alright, going on the Marauder 5M, we take away his arm and we do some good damage to his side torso. Then I'm trying to hit the uh, Griffin, I believe, over there. Could also be a Roughneck, I didn't target it so I can't say. But um, yeah, it's okay though. We did some good damage, we suppressed them quite a bit. Our team is now engaging in the Delta 4 area, no hopefully acquired. also in the Gulf and uh, Charlie 3 area. And um, some Light Mech running straight for my team. 
um, getting completely ignored on the left side. Like <laughs> it's a piranha, right? Running through them. Nobody sees him. Nobody shoots him. All right. Let's go in on Fox to do a bit more damage to him. I'm just waiting right now to see once the uh, enemy assaults show themselves again. And there's also the enemy up we top in the mountain again. here. Let's go ahead and do some Daka damage onto him and try and suppress him. Morning. Now I see an enemy assault pushing in on the left side. And as soon as I can, New I will target. orient myself Acquire. over to that area and uh, do some damage onto him. But for now, let's fall back a little bit. Getting too much New fire target. into my face. Uh, that's a piranha coming in. Hopefully we deterred him from shooting us. And now we're going New on the left target. side. And help out our teammate here. Going in on the mad cat from before that we already softened up quite a bit. And uh, do some more damage to him. And just try and aim for a center torso or cockpit. And hopefully take him down before he kills my teammates. That's exactly what we do here. He falls. Beautiful. Now we can go on that pesky pesky. I think assassin or something that's just shooting me up from up there with the AC2. But uh, one AC2 is not that scary. So I can just tank those shots and keep firing on the Target bigger destroyed. enemy targets. Because they are a much bigger threat to us of course. Yep, there you go down here, and we can go in on the enemy. What is that, Irby? Okay, all right, ammo is going low a little bit, but that's okay. We have to uh, look at the match right now, and we see that it is uh, two kills under five. I took away the side toss of the Timber Wolf, and I could have killed the whole team, but he moves to cover. Very, very wise move. And um, now I have to contend with lots of lights coming in, and there is only one way this story ends. <laughs> oh dear, it's an Irby. Why does it have to be an Irby? The tankiest little assault mech of them all, and there's also Piranha on me as well, and I'm getting shot with Lurms as well from the damaged Timberwolf, so yeah, uh, we're dying here boys, there's no way around it, uh, just try to do a little bit more damage here on uh, these targets, but there we go, we finally fall tanked our mech down to the bone. Um, the enemy team now has 9 kills, our team has 4 kills. I don't think we will win this, but you should never say never in this game. Um, let's see, we have a light mech in Charlie 4, uh, one guy in Charlie 3, oh, another guy falls. Yeah, never mind. This is We're not going to win this. There's an Orion coming in with UAC-20 and SRM-6s. Heavily, heavily, heavily ar armed for a mech like that. I mean, holy hell, that's a lot of weapons. Uh, the Yakta Cheetah is getting shot in the back, I believe. And, uh, yep, there's the Assassin that we talked about beforehand. White paint on a white map. Well done, good sir, well done. Good camo. So, the last guy living on our team is a mighty, mighty Urban Mech. And it's Urban Mech on Urban Mech violence, but... No Urban Mech wins, unfortunately. Looks like the Piranha wins. Yep, we're dead. Alright, well... Wasn't a bad match though. We had some fun. We good, got some good Daka shots into the enemy targets. Let's go ahead and see the scoreboard and see how we performed in this round. One killing blow, four assists, one solo kill, one KPD, 805 damage done and four components taken out. You know what guys? Yeah, I can I can live with that. Looking at how our assaults performed, how our heavies performed, um, I would I would give a shout out to the uh, Arctic Cheetah as well for doing quite well. But uh, the rest of them, yeah, Guys, gotta pick up the pace okay guys if you enjoy this content by the way check out my patreon page and consider becoming an active supporter of the channel we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the next game here and this one is on hpg manifold i'm going out the fox 5 corner and of course i'm going into overwatch position right now i see there's targets coming out the echo 6 gate and of course the first thing we do guys is we go go ahead and start shooting them um in case they stay around they get damaged and then we kill them or in case they run well they have taken a little bit of damage and every little bit of damage helps target especially in the early game when all targets are fresh target you want to go for the ones that are vulnerable target. and uh, wounded so Let's keep pushing on that Echo 5 side, see what we can find here. Yep, there's the Bushy from before. We shoot him with our beautiful, beautiful AC2s. There, the range is actually good enough for us to also use our small lasers. And we go to the top side now. And this is a great Overwatch position, guys. At the beginning of a match, you can just watch the enemy ramp here. Drop the artillery strike and then just keep them suppressed as much as possible. Drop down, dodge the uh, UAC-10 fire from the Death Strike, I believe. And keep firing on that Warhammer. And drop down again. Nope, never mind. We can't drop down again because I had somebody sneak up behind me. Uh, guys, don't do that. Just just, just don't do that. I just lost 10% of my mech for nothing. Um, do not sneak up behind teammates. New if you're passing somebody acquired. and it's, it's, it's a close fit, let them know beforehand. Use your voice comms and then everything is fine. Alright, so let's go in on the enemy Thunderbolt, do some damage to him. I'm still New having this overwatch acquired. position up here because the enemy team hasn't really moved yet. I wish for uh, to have another artillery strike target. here. That would acquired. be so, so juicy. But since we don't have it, we'll just keep this position and we'll keep firing on the Mad Cat and his buddy. Go on the side torso here. Maybe do some good damage. Let's see. Yep, side torso is open. Oh, if I get the side torso or the CT, that would be so, so juicy. 
He's just standing there and taking the shots. Oh, all right. All right, come on. No, didn't get the side torso. Did get the arm though, so that is a huge bit here. And we also took down, I believe, an assassin on that side corner. So, not too shabby, and we just keep firing, guys. We are in full on turret mode right now, and we are just amplifying damage on this target. See, I'm going on the Warhammer right now, trying to detract him and to uh, disturb him in his aim, and therefore make sure that he doesn't shoot my teammates as much. And it looks like that was exactly successful because he is now walking away. And I'm getting pushed in by that incubus, and I'm pushing that incubus' face in. Beautiful! And uh, now we can keep going towards the Charlie 5 area. I just got shot in the back by something that was a really, really big shot. What the hell was that? Timberwolf. Ouchie. Wow, that was painful. Okay. Well, I hope he's gonna go away here. Um, asking for help here. Enemies are half dead. We are six kills over two at the moment. So let's go in on the enemy rifleman who's got SOS on his back. Well, <laughs> that didn't help him. Okay, help out with the cicada here. Our left struggle, whatever that is, Madcat B is pushing in on him. And uh, we'll just hold this position and keep on firing because we are crazy people with Dakar. Beautiful. So the gun guy down below with the Nova. I've got one guy up top, uh, two guys up top actually, and uh, I'm going to go back to my initial position. But um, I feel I'm forgetting something here. Yep, I forgot that the Timberwolf was still there. So Rip got shot in the back and taken out. Um, but uh, hopefully my teammates will be able to avenge me. Uh, that Thunderbolt, however, might get shot in the back at any second now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's already starting. Uh, you might want to turn around, dude. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something behind you. New yeah, target. that Acquire. something is behind you. Um, it's actually funny that he didn't shoot his SRMs. Uh, he might have been out of range, but... <laughs> can you imagine the SRMs plus the medium pulses in the back? Yeah, that would have been an instant kill, but it doesn't matter. Uh, teammate overheats, but uh, that Timberwolf is not long for this world because all of my teammates are now going in on him, and this should be an easy kill. Nice duck death build, streak sixes and lasers. Hmm, gotta try that. Well played team, well played. Final score, 12 kills over 5. Guys, if you like this content, drop me a like, hit the subscribe button, and of course, check out my Patreon page. 2 killing blows, 8 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, 677 damage done, and 5 components taken out. Thanks for watching, have a great day wherever you are on this planet. TTB out.